Well, our week-long series with the television voice of the Cubs, Lane Casper, continues this evening as we talk about the night the Cubs did it. The night the Cubs won the World Series in Cleveland in 2016. Our conversation with Len Casper now continues. It's a beautiful, almost June-like afternoon in Cleveland. Uh, the first two games, it was pretty cold. Uh, it kind of felt like uh, we were definitely getting toward the winter months. Uh, but games six and seven... Uh, the weather was really nice uh, in Cleveland, so that's the first thing I remember. Uh, I, I also was down near the Cubs clubhouse toward the end of the game because I was supposed to be on the field doing a post-game uh, interview. And so we were watching on the monitor outside the clubhouse, and they had rolled in uh, T-shirts and champagne and all kinds of stuff uh, for if and when uh, the Cubs clinched. And then the Rajay Davis home run happened. And all the MLB uh, employees came in, took all of the stuff, and took it out toward the uh, Indians clubhouse. So that was an eerie moment, uh, no pun intended. And then when the rain delay happened, I went back upstairs to the press box. And as you remember, it ended so quickly. It went just 17 minutes. I quickly went right back down near the clubhouse. Uh, and then in the bottom of the tent, uh, I was able to get through the clubhouse and down near the dugout. So I was behind the dugout, and all I could see when I looked up was the backside of John Lester. So I had the earphones in. I was listening to Pat and Ron call the final out. And then I immediately got on the field. I interviewed Justin Grimm and Dexter Fowler. Those were the first two guys I interviewed. And both of them dropped expletives on the radio. <laughs> and it, it was interesting. They were so caught up in the moment and the emotion. They knew they were on the air, but they couldn't help themselves. And you know, in the end, I don't think anyone listening really cared that they uh, dropped a couple four-letter words. All that they cared about was that the Cubs had won the World Series. I'm sure you saw a great deal of this, but just realizing what that Cubs championship meant to so many people here in the Quad Cities, obviously across the state of Illinois, across the Midwest and the country for that matter, um, and I'm sure you hear all kinds of stories. It, that's what you love about sports is how people are just so invested in and how meaningful that championship was for so many people. There's no question about it, and because we were right in the middle of it, uh, in the clubhouse, in the press box, on the team bus, on the plane, uh, there's a, a pretty insular kind of vibe with a big league team, and you know there's a lot of attention around it, but and it's not a normal situation because you're in the World Series, but you go to the ballpark, you have your routine, and that feels very similar to all the times you... Uh, go to the park during the regular season but when it really hit me was the uh, parade a couple of days later and we don't really know how many people were there it's estimated there were five million people or so i would buy that number because i was uh, in the parade and all the way downtown i've never seen that many people uh, in one place in my life uh we went down lakeshore drive and uh there were people stopping on the side of the road on the other side of Lakeshore Drive and just waving at the caravan. It was something I'll never forget.